everyone. We are here today to put a cover on our journal that belongs to the Who Am I Lap Book Journal series. This is um, the leg of the last part of the lap book and the journal construction designing. And then we get to just relax and sit back and enjoy our project and journal in it. So I have chosen another piece of the fabric that I had beat dyed and I had cut it to uh, pretty much close the same size as what my journal is. Um, again, I'm trying to uh, keep out some of the bulk. So here's, here's our journal. Um, all of the papers and everything that I'm going to include in on our project today have already been uh, edged with Distress Ink with, um, I was going to say weathered wood, but brushed corduroy. So for the cover, I have also gone around and pulled threads so that we have a nice frayed edge on this. And I think I want to do the top first. This is the darker side, and I've chosen the lighter side to be the top on our, our journal. I like both of them. They're both really pretty. I don't. I just decided that I liked this better, I guess. So, I have some papers for a little collage element that I'm going to start with. And these are papers that I've used inside the journal already. Uh, so, it'll all be cohesive. And I found a pretty little flower to add in here. I'm just going to take and add a little bit of glue to these to keep them stuck together. And then I'm going to sew them with the sewing machine. So I'm going to glue from the, from the top down. And like I say, it doesn't have to be very much glue. It's just going to hold it until, until I get over to the sewing machine. So I'm going to move it over here, kind of get things in place where I might want them. And put this where I want it. That all looks about right. Let's see if it's all hold it together. Okay, we need a little glue on this part to hold this on. So in this group of papers, I have two of the prints and some ledger type paper, some um, dictionary paper, and then this flower. Uh, I also have a strap that I'm going to put all the way across um, our journal. Now, I don't want this to be halfway. I want it to be like maybe two-thirds of the way. I'm going to pull this down a little because there is a um, the name of what kind of flower this is, a hydrangea stellata, on the bottom that I want to show through. So, and then I have this trim that I thought was real pretty that we'll just put right across here. Make sure I do the right side. And I will stitch that on there also. Oh, and then I have a tag too. So let me get a little bit of glue on the tag. Let's see where we want that. We want that right about there. So I am going to go to the sew machine I'm going to stitch this on with a zigzag stitch, and I'll probably go around this with straight stitch and zigzag stitch, just for a little bit of different kind of interest to it. And then, um, let's see, where do I want to place that? I know I want to place it there, so I'm going to go the second little medallion in. So I'll stitch this also to my collage element here that I have and then stitch, hmm, I wonder if I should just stitch it all right to the journal top. I think what I'll do is I'll stitch this right to the journal top, and then I'll come in and I'll add this and stitch all of this right to the journal top. I do have a little crocheted element I'm gonna put on the edge over here, but I'll probably just glue that on. So I think I'll uh, probably, let me see. I don't know if a little bit of glue would hold this on that fabric or not. We'll give it a try. I 
make sure that's where I want it. And it is right there. So if that would hold there, that would be great. It's gonna hold long enough. All right, so I'll be back. All right, so I have the sewing done and if you can see, I stopped short here of the trim that I put across and I didn't start sewing until I got a little bit in because I'm going to put a closure on and I um, didn't want to have to try worrying about cutting threads with my, I have enough threads to try going through here without adding stitching uh, going through it too. And I also went all the way around, all the way around it with a zigzag. So I split up my zigzag and my straight stitch on the inside and all the way around the outside with zigzag. So for the closure, I have, it's a Zutter Perfect Closures um, from the Zutter cutting, cutting Machine. And um, I don't know, there was somebody that was carrying them that had them marked down, so I bought up several of them. This is what it is. It is a little metal thing here that opens up and then you put your your strap on the back side with an eyelet and it comes around through the opening of your journal and goes into here we open it up and it goes in this way and then you close it so it goes on it's going on my journal edge right here so i need to attach my eyelets to it these little brass type looking eyelets for the whole let's see seven sixty fourths or one eighth we want on the front we want this to be right about here kind of on the edge so i'm going to go in with my one sixteenth hole punch and punch a hole right there so then this will sit on here like so. And then we have, I'm gonna make sure I do this right. We have our cap. So this must be the rivet pin. I don't believe that the strap, no, the strap does not. So we have our hole punch. We put our little rivet pin up through there. We put our closure here. And then it has a cap that sits on it like this okay do you believe that's right seems to me the rivet pin should be the one inside the closure but it's shown that the cap is so we'll just have to trust that they know what they're talking about right right so then we need a hammer and they sent this little wooden dowel right here to put down on top of that cap and hammer that in place. It's like that. Does that appear to be tight? And let's make sure our strap will still go through there. It does catch. That's what I was afraid that that would catch. Didn't seem right, but the directions say the cap goes inside. So I don't like it that way. It does go through, but you have to monkey with it. Okay, let's close that back up. And then let's go to the back side. And on the back side, we want to punch another hole. And let's go right about here, which is just inside the silly me punching the wrong part just inside the edge of the cover of the book so now we have another rivet pin then we have our strap that sits down over that and then we have a cap that sits down over that and then again we're going to Sorry about the noise, guys. Hammer that in place. So then for our closure, we get it on our book. 
it comes up we open this up take our strap put it in and that's going to give me fits because there we go now I put them right on the edge because I thought my room was, my book was going to need room to expand. But even at that, you just pull, your strap can grow with your book and then you close it. And then you have this really cute little closure. Okay. My um, thing kind of bends around the side a little bit, but that'll be okay, I think. I suppose if I didn't like it bending around the side like that, what I could do is, since I bought many of these closures, I could take another one and put it on the end here, but then I wouldn't have another one to use on another book. So I'm just gonna go with the fact that it rolls over a little bit. I'm, I'm okay with that. I should have put it in here further and I don't, if I tried to take it off now, would that even be possible? Guys, I'm gonna play with this and see, because if I move it in just an inch, that's not gonna hurt how much room I have for my book to expand. So I'm gonna work with this, I'll be back. All right, it worked. So I'm feeling better too because now my hole is over here. It's on the paper and it's not just on the edge of the fabric and I think it's all going to hold better. I think it's more stable. I also turned that upside down. I did not like that cap sticking up and I knew I was gonna be frustrated every time I wanted to close this. So I turned it around. Now I can put my strap in there and if my journal expands, I have room for it to expand and grow. And meanwhile, until it does, I can close this right up just like that. And then I have about two inches that the journal can expand. So you see it on the back here and here. And you can see on the inside where I put the cap here. So I have a hole showing, but that's okay because now we're going to attach our journal and remember our journal was hinged on these three straps of paper and I have cut, I didn't have any more of my cardstock that would be wide enough to cover the whole area. So that's all right. We're just going to put this piece down and then I have a smaller piece. We'll put down here and we'll bring it right out to cover that hole. And then I have some of the pattern paper that we've been using throughout our book. And I've edged this all up with um, the Distress Ink. And then I'm gonna glue it all down. So I'll get the gluing of this all put down and it's going to be the same on the back as what it is on the front with the paper, the cardstock, this paper, and this. Actually, if I wanted to, I could probably put the smaller piece toward the inside. Then that wouldn't be as noticeable on the outside. Because we, we'll have a seam here where they join together. And, and probably that's what I'll do. And then that will be the inside of our journal. So I'm going to go glue these all down and I'll be back. I forgot to mention that the first thing I'll do is glue down my straps that I had bound my journal to. So there's three here and then there's three over here. So I'm gonna make sure those are nicely firmed down and then I'm going to add my paper, my cardstock. All right, everything's glued in place. I have clamped this right around our strap here. Um, because it wasn't just laying down and I wanna make sure that it gets on there good and tight. And um, I was having some issues with it sticking here too. So I put some clamps there. And then on the front, I did the same thing. There was spots that looked like they were gonna be trouble issues if I didn't either stand here and hold them for an hour or just put the hinges or the clips on. So the clips are on. The book is all the, it's done. <laughs> 
all but letting the glue dry. Um, I did put a title on this tag here. Um, here we go. We're way over here, guys. We're not way over there. And I've stamped with little stamps, who am I on there. On the back, this just wraps around. I brought out a doily. Um, I was going to put one on the back, and I still might, and one on the front. The front, I'm not going to. Um, I don't want to take away from that because I think that's just really pretty. I put it over here, but then you can't see. So no, not on the front, but possibly on the back, I'll put one. And then along with these um, Zutter straps and stuff came two little keys. So I'm going to find some way to attach them, maybe with a ball pin or something to the journal here. Other than that, it's done all but the journaling. Um, as we go along and we journal in here, I'm sure I'll add something to the front and to the back cover. I won't let that just stay plain like that. Oh, and I did, yeah, that's right. I did have these papers to put on there too. Um, but I got caught up in this not, not holding that I needed to clamp it. So these I won't have a problem with holding after. I'll probably just go in with some Yoohoo glue stick, paper to paper. So there we go, guys. That is our journal cover. Easy peasy, right? I didn't want it to be too bulky. I didn't want it to be overly decorated. And I'm happy, pleased that that look. I think that looks fine. It's a, a whole lot simpler than what I normally do, but I'm, I'm happy with that. So and that'll still fit in our lap book really well. Okay, so excited to start the journaling. Um, possibly today is Saturday, possibly Sunday we'll have our first journal session in our lap book. Because I think I'll start the lap book first and then occasionally add, you know what it's going to be? It's going to be wherever I feel like journaling, that's where I'm going to journal. So I hope you continue to follow along and thanks for watching. You have a great day and we'll see you again soon. Bye now.